Welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Hey, uh, we're gonna head back. Yeah, me too. Last time we in were introduced to our new heroes, Ventus, Terra, and Aqua. Together. Always. That would be the last night we ever spent beneath the same stars. Mickey, I cannot shake the feeling something terrible is about to transpire. Hmm? In this game, you choose one character at a time and complete his or her story from start to finish. Each character visits different places and meets different people. Only by finishing all three stories we uncover this tale's deeper truths. So we can choose between Terra, the splendid young man who feels compelled to find greater strength, he relies on brute force in combat, Ventus, an outgoing inquisitive boy who holds his key plate backhand, quick attacks are his forte, and Aqua, a kind young woman whose sense of right and wrong never wavers. Is nimble and a gifted mage. So, when I originally played this game, whenever the PS3 version came out, I think was the only time I played this, uh, I went with Ventus because, understandably, it's the character they show you in the tutorial, it's the character you actually recognize because he at least looks like Roxas. Despite, I mean, obviously, it's not a look, he has a, he has a shoulder blade, a shoulder pad, I should say. Uh, but yeah, going through his story does leave some things unanswered till you get to one of the others. I mean, obviously that's true for all of them, but basic things like the enemies you fight, they never really explain what they are or their name. So, for the reason it's like that, and because I did look online and I checked what other people recommended as the official order, uh, so Nomura himself has apparently said, this order here is what he believes to be the quote-unquote correct order to play it through it. Terra, then Ventus, then finishing off with Aqua. So, I'm gonna go with that, because also, not just because Nomura said, but also because there's a lot of things that sort of flow in the plot a lot better if you go through it in this way. Like, Terra, for instance, gets the explanation of what the basic enemies you've, you're fighting throughout the game are that Ventus simply never gets. I'm gonna start with Terra. Let's play as Terra. Today you will be examined for the mark of mastery. Not one, but two of the Keyblades chosen stand here as candidates, with the 
This is neither a competition nor a battle for supremacy. Not a test of wills, but a test of heart. Both of you may prevail, or neither. But I am sure our guest, Master Sayanot, did not travel all this way to see our youngest prospects in years fall short of the mark. I trust you are ready. Yes. yes. Then let the examination begin. gonna miss it now. He can take care of himself. He's been out there training just as hard as us. Yeah. Stay sharp, then. Destroy the orbs of light. Last episode, I also had it looked like a bit of joystick issues. It looks like I fixed that faithfully. I was worried about whether I had or not. Okay, that's over there now. Alright, that didn't quite reach the way I hoped it did, but that's alright. The terror is a bit slow, a bit funky, for lack of a better word. Hell yeah. Action HP increase and we learned critical impact. I'm looking forward to getting the chance to pause and check that out. <laughs> Build the command gauge by do at least partly using deck commands. You'll sometimes change command styles. Command style you get depends on how many and which deck commands you used. That was unexpected. But one must keep a still heart even in the most trying of circumstances. It was an excellent test, one I chose to let unfold. Which brings us to your next trial. Now, Terra and Aqua, the two of you will face each other in combat. Remember, there are no winners, only truths. For when equal powers clash, their nature is revealed. Begin! <laughs> We have deliberated and reached a decision. Terra, Aqua, you both perform commendably. However, only Aqua has shown the mark of mastery. Terra, you fail to keep the darkness within you sufficiently in check. But there is always next time. That is all. Aqua, as our newest Keyblade Master, you are entitled to certain knowledge. Please wait here for further instruction. Hey. Tara, I'm sorry. The darkness, where did it come from?
What do you make of Ventus? He ain't gonna cut it. Somebody's gotta break that loser in. Not here, you won't. I have to keep up appearances. I know that. He just needs a little incentive to leave home. Sorry, but I need some time alone. There's darkness within me. So what does that matter? I know I'm strong enough to hold it back. Yes, you are indeed strong. The darkness has nothing to fear. Master Xehanort. And yet, how frustrating that Ericus refutes its power. Why, you could train with him forever, and still, you'd never be a master in his eyes. But why? Help me understand, Master Xehanort. What is it that I failed to learn? You're fine as you are. <laughs> Darkness cannot be destroyed. It can only be channeled. Yes. Thank you, Master. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. Why isn't Ven here? Very well, then. I will send my pupils to investigate. Yes, I understand. Farewell. That was my dear old friend Yen Sid. As you know, he is master no more. But he still keeps a close eye on the tides of light and darkness. His counsel serves as signposts on the road we wielders of the Keyblade must walk. All the more reason then for concern, for he tells me the princesses of heart are in danger. Not only from the forces of darkness, as you may assume, but also from a new threat, one that feeds on negativity. Fledgling emotions that have taken monster form, Yen Sid calls them the Unburst. As wielders of the Keyblade, you are tasked with striking down any who would upset the balance of light and darkness. The Unversed are no exception. I tried to pass this news on to Master Xehanort, but my repeated attempts to reach him have failed. I doubt there is any connection, and yet this all troubles me. Master Xehanort is gone? So here we are. I need you two to get this situation under control. Eliminate the Unversed, and find Master Xehanort. I have unlocked the lanes between. You may use these forbidden pathways to travel between this world and countless others. Darkness looms closer than usual within these spaces, but your armor will protect you. Last, remember that order must be kept. You cannot tell anyone there are other worlds. Now go, and fulfill your duty. Yes, Master. Terra, consider this an opportunity, a second chance for you to change my mind. What? You must know, I care for you like my own son. If I could have my way, I would name you master in a second. But how can I, when you are so obsessed with power? Terra, you mustn't be afraid of losing. Fear leads to obsession with power, and obsession beckons the darkness. Never forget. 
Thank you, Master. I swear, I will not fail you again. Watch the D-Link with Ventus. And D while D-Link, you can use the other character's commands. Press that to open your list of D-Links. This D-Link gauge will drain as long as you remain linked. When the gauge runs out, the link will be broken. D-Link gauge will restore your HP. Fill the gauge by collecting these D-Link prizes. Train enemies while D-Linked may cause them to drop special emblems. Collect the emblems power up the D-Link. And we forge the D-Link with Aqua, of course. Unlock the command board for land of departure. Hey, the journey begins. We have just one world available to us right now. Alright, but I think we're going to leave it there. I will take the opportunity to actually speak for a second. Uh, so, as you can see there, Ventus wasn't in that cutscene where he mentions that we're dealing with the Unversed, our new version of Heartless here. Uh, so Ventus doesn't get that expansion at all, so you never really learn what they're called. All right, here we go. We have the oh, we have the menu now. We're gonna spend a minute in here, actually. I won't always show this off, but I figure for a first time, might as well. We won't start the next world till next episode, though. So if you're not interested in seeing all these uh, menus, feel free to just skip to the next episode. Alright, so I'm not going to read all this out. Basically, yeah. Basically, we can assign abilities here. Once we've, and you can level them up. Once they're fully leveled up, you can get an ability to get to go with them. So for instance, this one gives us scan. And I think by being fully leveled up, abilities, bonus skills, tied to commands, command gain its abilities. And auto abilities are permanent and don't have to be installed in your deck. You gain auto ability by raising a command with that ability to the maximum level. So, we now have scan. And we don't need to keep that one with us, but thanks to leveling it up, I think to max is how we have gotten there. The jump, slide, and block are our options here. And with the shot lock, we have Sonic Shadow. Come on to the shadows and rush targets repeatedly, blinding the enemies you hit. And with the finish commands, we set requirements to power up your finish command. Finish command may power up in different ways depending on which conditions you fulfill. Right now we have just the regular finish. Use the finish command screen to change your commands. Change your command or give commands new names. So we can name them whatever we want technically. Uh, so it looks like we're on our way to Leveling up this one, we've got 55 experience there. But yeah, we can't actually do anything with that yet. Items. We have just the one Keyblade, Earthshaker for Terra. Can we decide that with? What it lacks in reach, it makes up for with a slight boost in strength. Oh yeah. And in our stock we have the Wayfinder of course. One of three good luck charms that we made for ourselves and our friends. They afforded my Master Exam. Already had a look at abilities. D links, we have Ventus and Aqua. So it looks like we've got two things we can unlock for each of them. 
Uh, so for instance with Ventus, change your arsenal. So the command deck becomes a blast of wind and the finish becomes a flurry of quick attacks. Aqua, magic of each element for the command deck and a volley of magic in all directions. Have a look at his stats here. Obviously he's level one, so not too much to go off here. Strength is seven, magic is five, defense is two. That sounds about right for him. And command stars, we've got critical impact. Activates when you use attacks like critical quick blitz. And we can change his finish commands uh, there as well, it looks like. Reports, so here we can have a look at the story. Yeah, I don't need to go through this too much. Uh, character files, so yeah, we can see more descriptions here. I will say with Master Xehanort, um, I believe he was mentioned in Kingdom Hearts 2, uh, that he was the one pretending to be handsome and thus created both the Heartless and the Nobody of Ansem and Xemnas, respectively. Uh, so obviously we know that he's bad. Obviously also, you know, you can kind of just look at him and tell he has a bad guy design, but at the same time, gotta remember that in universe, the characters have no reason to doubt him. So like their master just said, hey, here is another master equally worthy of respect and told and so of course Terra would believe him when he says, hey, darkness isn't inherently evil. Which also is true. Riku has shown time and time again that just because he uses power of darkness, kind of like what Master Zen here says, darkness isn't doesn't have to be rejected if it can be controlled. And when Riku's in control, he's alright with the darkness. Like darkness isn't inherently evil. So he is actually right in that respect. Yeah, and lastly, the Master Boy that we have no clue about. Yeah, we can also see all the different commands that we've unlocked. We have a lot to go, of course. And we can look at all the treasures available to us. We didn't have a chance to get any of the ones there. I'll leave the command board for the next episode, I think. Yeah, show the commands, iron command limitations. Like other commands, you can only carry a finite number of I Okay, yeah, so even if you equip an item in the command board, obviously, uh, not command board, the command deck, uh, items still have are one time use. That's not changed. Alright, and all these are good. I don't think I need to change any of them. Alright. So, enough dilly dallying around with that. Next time on Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, we're going to get started with the Enchanted Dominion. And also we'll have a look at that command board in the menu. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye bye.